open. Just real quick, uh, try and uh, bang this out. And we'll just uh, do it, and that'll be easy peasy. I'm, all I'm going to do actually is add RAM to my MSI GF75. So, yeah, alright, here we go. So, I have a number one screw here, uh, screwdriver here. I tested it out. You could use zero, but. Uh, I've tested it and number one works, so easy peasy. Here we got the laptop right here, MSI GF75. So, um, what we're going to do now is identify the screws that we have. So we have a bunch of screws. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12 screws apparently, so let's uh, work with that and we'll just start removing some screws real quick, take our number one screwdriver, our Phillips head number one, this is going to be easy, yeah, I had a gotten this from Costco. I had seen it on sale and was like, oh, well, that seems interesting. I mean, if you just add a little more RAM to this machine, I'm stock with uh, 8 gigabytes, then you will actually uh, increase the value of your machine quite a bit more, it seems. So I'm just adding RAM. Um, And we'll be fine with that. I may add a hard drive lay an extra hard drive later for the uh three and a half inch bay that's there. It did come with a uh look like a shield for it or like a caddy uh when you install it into the machine that was in the box. So that was that little metal piece that's a little caddy for a uh three and a half inch SSD. So that's what we're gonna probably do, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna do that later. Right now, I'm just doing the RAM because I got the RAM stick in, and it has enough memory um, currently for what being used for. So I got it as a replacement laptop for Arial. Here's a factory seal one. Oops, oh, down there. I'm on you. Okay, well, I guess we're learning that. It's going to get a little bit caught up on this. Let me try to remove the screw, so. I don't know, I might want to just remove that right now, personally. Give uh, this away. Uh, eh, we'll leave it. I'll, I mean, I'll take it off later after the video just to make it look nice and stuff, but you can do what you want with that and just poke a hole and just remember it'll get caught up here a little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to take our uh, little pick. This is a just like a little guitar pick kind of thing. It's meant for, as a pry tool, but I mean, it's... It's a guitar pick. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to start prying around here. I'm just going to start on this corner um, over here just to see if I can get anything to it. Okay, so a little, saw a little something. It seems like it actually might just want to lift off. It's my first time ever. Uh, opening this machine, so I'm just seeing how difficult it is to do. I'm just jamming in here, and I'm not getting. I'm getting under it, but I gotta wiggle it a little bit more. I think. Really get in it. 
Maybe I'll start off at a corner. Let's see. Well, that seemed to work a little bit better. If I just start. They're just going along it. This. Go this way. And just taking a little bit of force. Not too crazy, but just, you know, be careful. Here's the top part I can't see from the other side, so I'm just kind of prying that up there. Maybe a little more pry on this side. And okay, so from here, now that it seems like we've got it kind of released, well, pick it up um, from the opposite, from the side that only has USBs. Um, because I think this headphone jack on the opposite side, the two headphone jacks are gonna get caught up. So I just kind of lifted it up, wiggled it a little bit. Here it is. All right, here are your uh, RAM module. So here's one of them, stock one. I got uh, this in the mail the other day. So eight gigabytes of two six 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 megahertz. That's all you're gonna need. So let's crack this bad boy open. It just pops right out. There we go. Oh, here we got our RAM stick. Make sure it goes in. It only can go in one way, so um, I'm pretty sure these ones you come at an angle, and then you press down to snap in. Yep, perfect. So you go at an angle and then snap down. Um, let's put this bad boy back together. We'll turn her on, and I'll show you what uh what happened. See if it uh worked. See if it's showing the 16 gigabytes. So let me just hook this on here. Yeah, how difficult it is to reassemble now. So it seems like I have to like hook it on to the this side and then pull it a little bit. Yeah, so, so I have to like have it at an angle. And then I have to like set it down here. It seems to be going on all right. Um, seems fairly close. Seems right about there. Okay, so that side did not sit down right. So let's try and take it back. Sorry, I'm just trying to trying to put this bad boy back together here. For ya. Um, hmm. Not too bad. We're getting it, we're getting it. You hear that snapping in? And just kinda fit it over. Just be gentle, but you gotta be firm enough at the same time. See, I'm like pressing down on everything here just to make sure there's no more snapping noises. But I'm pressing firmly enough. There we go. Perfect. We're all good to go on there. And center it. Perfect. Oh. There's a little bit of crack there. And the tabs to set in, so. Yeah, just run it around, run your finger on the sides. There's another one. I want it to be nice and secured back together when I screw it back in so it's nice and thin again. Okay. Cool. Let's start. We'll, uh, the center one. Goes right in. Here's the next one.
Well, it shouldn't be too bad of a job, so yeah. I'm not sure what time is right now, but... Uh, 10 minutes? I'm 10 minutes. And I got it closed up already, so... Uh, it's not too bad. Easy peasy. Make sure you put your screws in tight, but not too tight. Almost done. Turn it on. And we'll verify that we're showing the um, 16 gigabytes instead of 8 gigabytes. But I'm glad that seemed to go pretty well. There was a little bit of finicky on putting it back on, but just be, be careful. Uh, remember, you have to kind of hook the headphone jacks on first. Kind of put it at an angle again. And um, almost pretty much the same way, I just took it off. So take it off from the sides with the USBs. And then, um, just slowly lift it up and peel the headphone jack off, or peel it off, headphone jack on that side. Anyway, put back together, got all our screws put in. Let's see, I'm just going to flip her over here. I got a little bit of stuff. That's, uh very fingerprint key, but hey, we turn it right back on for us. <laughs> oh, I just had the thing. I just pressed it to turn it off. Ah, I was impatient. So here we go. MSI logo, it's got all my fingerprints up on here because I'm touching and all that kind of stuff. I think we got our spinning wheel. Oh, you can see the logo on this on this screen though, right here. I mean, going up here that I'm on. Let's see what we got. It must be um, identifying the new uh, RAM. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Easy peasy. Let's go to the task manager. Let me try and use computer uh, backwards. Task manager. Oh, that's other settings. Task bar, task bar settings. I'm looking for the task manager. There we go. Mm, performance. Uh, memory. There we go. Uh oh, oh. Kind of difficult to to view it there, but uh, yeah. Let me see if I can bring it a little bit closer. The camera, so you can see. Where's the show? Oh, there we go. Focus, you fuck. Come on, focus, you fuck. Uh, well, you get the idea. There. There, I brought it right up. 16 gigabytes of RAM. Of, uh, memory. So, not too bad. Good stuff. I'm glad this is done. And if you have any more uh, issues, you know, I mean, I'm just glad it's done. Easy. Don't have to worry about any of that and all that stuff, so. 
I'm glad about that. We're all good. Done in 15 minutes. Cool. Alright.